Man, it should be a great fight tonight. What do you think, Bob? Oh, yeah, definitely between the powerhouse Newton and the underdog Huygens. Uh, let's take it down to the announcer. And in the right corner with black hair, Sir Isaac Newton. And in the left corner, Christian Huygens. Shorts. Shot it. Do you know what a corpuscle is? Of course not. It's a tiny light particle that travels at enormous speeds in straight lines. <laughs> yeah, well, light travels in a wave. Yeah, well, I thought all mechanical waves needed a medium to travel through. How do light waves travel from the sun to earth through space? There's no medium there, huh? I thought you might ask. Light waves regenerate themselves from small point sources. They're called wavelets. And they generate on the existing wave to create a whole new wave. Do -do 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 -do. That's enough. Do you know why? The light is able to reflect, huh? No. Do tell. Puzzles are perfectly elastic. They bounce off all surfaces. Well, since light is a wave, it acts just like any other water wave. You do know how water waves act, right? Let me guess. Light acts like a water wave during refraction, too? It's as if you took the words right out of my mouth. Well, I'm going to put them right back. You see, corpuscles are attracted to solids and liquids rather than gases. That's why light travels faster in water than air. That's why I like Ben, rookie. Take that back. Adrian! Adrian! I am the greatest! The greatest! One of the most important discoveries to help support Huygens' wave theory was conducted by Francisco Grimaldi. Why do I keep getting these shadows with fuzzy edges? I guess light has to be a wave. After his tough defeat, Huygens tried desperately to gain support for his wave theory. Luckily, three scientists came to his aid. James Clerk Maxwell, Jean Foucault, and Thomas Young. Oh. Oh. Would you like to make a contribution to the Christian Huygens' Save the waves, Newton's an idiot, I hate light as a particle theory foundation? No, we came here to give you... Would you like to buy a wristband? No, no, we... A t-shirt? No, we want to give you these care packages. We think they might s help support your theory. So you think Newton's an idiot? Listen, man, we don't hate, we love. We make peace. We make. Love. Okay, okay, that's enough, Gene. Hey, hey, I'm cool with having a girl's name. Listen, if it makes you feel any better, I discovered that light can interfere with itself. You know how when two mechanical waves interfere with each other, they can add together or cancel each other out? Well, it's the same with light. When two lights interfere, they create areas of bright spots and areas of dark spots. So light is a wave. Yeah, man, I totally discovered that light travels faster in air than in water. That's like totally the opposite of what Newton said. Don't say his name. So sorry man. That's like the opposite of what that famous scientist who discovered gravity and made huge contributions to physics said. That's not helping. Well, if it helps, I just
discovered that light is a combination of two perpendicular oscillating electric and magnetic fields. What? Yeah, man. Speak English. Light is a wave. An electromagnetic wave. An EM wave. Oh. Oh. What we're basically trying to say is that we support your theory and believe that you are correct. So, I guess it won't hurt to buy some I Hate Newton or whatever those shirts are. No, the Christian Huygens' Save the Waves Foundation. Okay, just give me three.